Hi everybody, welcome to Pedro's Happy Place. How is everybody doing today? Today is Sunday the 8th of, um, of October and I am here in my yarn room and I am joined by <laughs> Miss Lila. I'm joined by Miss Lila today. She is our sponsor. <laughs> Anyway, that's so silly. I know. I need to give her a bath. She just, she's a mess, but she's such a sweet mess. And she's decided that she wants to sit right here next to me and um, make herself a little uh, blanket uh, bed. And she's going to be with me today. So um, today we are going to be talking about yarn or rather projects or what I'm working on, things like that. It's going to be just a mismatch, mishmash of things. And um, hopefully little miss won't, um, <laughs> sorry, she, that she will stay put and not decide that she's going to run around and um, get into trouble, which she usually does. And she, she does a good job of it. Yeah, she's, um, She's very adept at getting into trouble. So what I decided to do was bring my cart that I usually have um, out in my den where I usually do all of my crocheting and just pull stuff off and show you what I've got. Um, some of it some of it's finished some of it just needs ends done in and yeah let's just get to it and there's no rhyme or reason um one of the reasons i come back to my yarn room decided to do something is because i've got to clean up some stuff um i really would love to find some like 10 by 10 square zip uh not ziploc bags but space bags you know vacuum bags where i can put stuff in and layer them in my cubbies down there in my new um area where i can store stuff but i don't think that that's going to happen um so i haven't done any rearranging or anything in my yarn room because i've spent very little time in my yarn room to tell you the truth so okay so let's just start at the top um i have my hershners not that i'm going to order anything but sometimes it gives me some ideas um i started a little um a little turtleneck sweater for um sweet little lila and that's as far as I've gotten. I need to do, um, yeah, I don't think I need to do any more rows because this is actually the length from here all the way down to her legs. And I, I don't want it to be like that. And she has a hard time with, with having something up close on her neck. She wants to get down and chew it and to get rid of it. So I'm thinking if I made it a turtleneck, it'll still be warm. And um, yeah, I'm not sure. But this is what I've done so far. And I'm going to make it in uh, these two colors. Um, they are special um, Stylecraft Special DK Apricot and Emperor. So a dark, deep purple and like a, pe a peachy pink color. Um haven't gotten far on that one. Okay. And I don't know where all of my stitch markers are. I must have them in other projects, but I have to just leave the hook in there and hope I don't lose it. <laughs> okay. What else do I have? Okay. In this little pouch here, I have, what do I have? See, I have forgotten everything. Um, I've got what looks like, oh, I started this hat 
and I, I just I don't like it it's just not it's I love the yarn I love working with the yarn but I just don't think it's a yarn for um a hat I really wanted to make a matching hat and cowl um because I have two skeins of this this is the um West Yorkshire Spinners um Zanola Rhodes. I'm thinking that's what it is. Zanola Rhodes. Uh, Bluebell Mist. And it is a 75 wool, 25 nylon, but you can very you can barely tell that there's nylon in it. It's not very soft. It's it's a sock yarn for sure. Um, but anyway, I, now why do I have two hooks in here? I think I was using one size for the, um, let's see here. Uh, this is a four millimeter and this is a three and a half. So I must have been using one size, but I think I got them mixed up. I don't know, but I think I'm going to have to frog that and maybe i'll just make a nice warm cowl out of it it'll definitely be um i'm going to see if i can put both of these in here uh to keep everything together okay and i was looking for a hook and so i've got all my hooks on my table here <laughs> and it's like i i just there's like a whole stack of them okay so anyway what else have I been doing? Okay, I made another uh, doggy sweater. I finished, I made it this morning and finished it this afternoon. So um, I don't like the way this is put together. So making my next one like this, I'm not going to single crochet it together like it suggested. I'm going to somehow do like um, the mattress stitch maybe or in, invisible stitch somehow. But I do love the way it turned out. I love the way it turned out. Um, and this is this will be more like for a medium dog. I could definitely see like a Shih Tzu or even like a um, a little, oh, like a Beagle or something like that. Okay, that's about that size. Um, so I have not, um, I plan on tomorrow taking all of these sweaters down to um the local um place where i where i got a lila and hopefully they will um take them take them and see if they can sell them so i'll probably put them in like uh, a ziploc bag with the price on it and what it's made out of um and then you know people can see what if they like it or not so what's next this is next and i am oh i am not happy with this i i just this is i wanted to love this pattern i love Jeannie from on the hook crochet i love everything she does but i am just not getting this pattern this is supposed to be the capelet from um you know the outlander capelet and i just and i just don't feel like it looks right and i i put all of the the darts i'm not the darts but the you know the extras in there and i i'm just not happy with this at all so um and I love the yarn, by the way. And what yarn am I using, you might ask? Homespun. I saw this color, Painted Desert. I picked up two skeins of it because it looks just like fall. I mean, it just screams fall, doesn't it? So what am I going to do? Um, I have plenty to make a matching hat and cowl set i might do that and with the yarn because it's so um it's so colorful i really want to show off the yarn so i'll find a very simple pattern 
for for the hat and the and the cowl so that um because you're gonna be hard pressed to see the stitches you know so if you find a really pretty stitch you're, you're gonna be hard pressed to see the stitches i don't want them to compete okay let me i'm losing stuff here Ugh. okay so this was the all the leftover i had of the one skein of yarn i used for this sweater and the yarn i used was i know i have the uh well what was it no not alpaca twist not that and i didn't bring that bag in with me so i don't know what the other one was well, I thought I had it. I thought I put it right in here. Oh, it's glowing. I know that's the name of the yarn. Okay, so this is um, Hobby Lobby's Glowing. And I thought, what a perfect yarn to make animal sweaters out of, right? It's, you know, for your dog, you're taking your puppy for a walk and, and you need to have a glowing, like a a yarn that will kind of glow in the dark a little bit so you can i'm trying to be clever you know okay so um what else here is the one sweater i did complete this is going to be for a larger dog and i just used some um air the some uh super saver uh, red heart um and i and i just i didn't do anything with the leg holes i just left them open whereas on this one i did a row of um um front post back post double crochet and um i like that but i don't know i'm i'm really wanting to get a feel for what people like so like if they have a dachshund you know i don't really want to have a a long <laughs> a long little leg hole right you know you want to have something that's going to be a little bit shorter like this but um but if you have like a beagle or a jack russell um some of those medium-sized dogs you want to have maybe a little bit longer of a of a leg so okay so there's two um i had planned on uh, my aunt. I have an uncle in Germany, um, and um, he and his wife were going to make their last trip ever over to the states to visit. Um, yeah, they haven't been in many, many years. They were planning on being here tomorrow and then going home next week. Well, I thought, okay, I want them to be able to take home um, or take back to Germany a couple of different shawls for my aunts. They always loved my handmade things, my two, especially two of my aunts, and I've only got three left in Germany um, by, by blood. And so I thought, okay, I'm going to make real quick, I'm going to pop out some, some beautiful, uh, quick, uh, shawls. And so I got out my Karen, um, Colorama Halo and I made a, a shawl and I think it turned out, let's see. There we go. I think it turned out really nicely. Um, they both are a little bit larger like I am, but I think it works perfectly, um, you know, around your shoulders. And that's the kind of thing that they like, you know, um, my one aunt, um, she w had been in a wheelchair for a while. I don't know if she's still in a wheelchair or not, but that's like perfect for her. I just need to weave in the ends, but, um, my, my uncle's wife, my aunt Doris, she has a really, really bad cough. And the doctor told them that they, they did not release them for travel. 
they couldn't travel. And they have a son who has spinal bifida and he is not well at all either. And um, he can only stay in this home that he's in for uh, a couple days at a time. Hold on just a minute. I just noticed that's going to help a little bit with the glare, but not much. Um, but anyway, he can only stay a couple days a week and then they have to keep him home. And he is a big man. I mean, he is, um, I think he's 50. I want to say he's like 50 or 51 years old, but he can't walk by himself. He can't, he can't do things. And, um, he's like an, a, um, and a, an adult body with a two, two year old brain and it's, he, he's nonverbal. It, it's just a sad situation. Anyway, they're not coming over after all. Um, not now anyway, they're hoping to, um, but, um, anyway, it's not like I made it for nothing. I, now I have a nice shawl that I can pass on or I can just wait until they come over and I'll hand it to them. And what's nice about these um, crocheted projects is I can find a little space bag where I can like put them in a space bag and suck all the air out so it won't take up a whole, whole lot of room and it won't be a lot of weight in their suitcases to take home with them. That's the plan anyway. Okay, so what else do I have in here? I have just yarn, leftover yarn that I had used for stuff. Um, let's see here, that's all yeah, left over. Okay, so that's all I, I feel like I've been working on a lot of other things, but I'm not sure where they are or if I need to get them. I did get another skein of the glowing yarn from Hobby Lobby so that I could make another um, uh, doggy sweater. But this time, um, when I when I made this one, the pattern, uh, the tutorial was by uh, Tiffany Hansen, and um, it was a yarn inspirations video and I just kind of like winged it because I wanted something between a small and a medium so I was kind of like fudging numbers you know rows and things like that but now that I got the hang of it um I want to make just a small I want to make a just directly from the pattern I want to make a small um, and I might even be able to get it done tomorrow. Who knows? But, um, I'm excited about that. So that I'm done talking about that. So, um, my, my goal had been to, because I was going to be going up to Ohio to take these things up to my, um, aunt and uncle to take back to Germany. Um, my oldest daughter lives about 45 minutes from uh my aunt ellen that lives up there in ohio and so i my goal had been to finish the baby things too so that i could you know take them up there all at the same time that doesn't look like it's going to happen so i'm not i'm we're not going up there so I don't have to have those baby items done. So, and it just, it's just a matter of finishing up one little baby sweater and then putting buttons on both of them. But other than that, you want to come say hi? You want to come say hi? You come up, say hi. Hmm? Hmm? No. Okay. So this afternoon, I watched Tony Lipsy's premiere of planning out a temperature blanket. Now I've done temperature blankets. I've done one, 
um, and I'm working on one for this year. Um, but the one I had planned for Mr. Happy, that one I have not even done anything with. Um, and it's not a, it's not a big deal. I, you know, I hate that it's a whip, you know, I just want to get it finished, but at the same time, it's not like I have to do it because it's for some, a, a special occasion or something. I have a ton, a ton of, uh, hey, excuse me just a minute. Okay, sorry about that. A little diversion here with puppies wanting to chew on anything and everything in sight. And so, okay, okay, that's okay. <clears throat> I don't know if she's more like a cat or more like a dog. She just, she just acts so much like a cat <laughs> sometimes. It's just hysterical. Okay, we're talking about temperature blankets. And I'm not going to go into detail about, you know, she's got a, a fabulous, it's a fabulous, fabulous um, video. And you'll need to check it out <clears throat> if you haven't already. <clears throat> but it got me to thinking about, am I on track with this year's? And I said, well, I am pretty darn close to being on track because um, let's see here. Um, I have, I think, three or four more rows to go on my September square. And I only have, you know, like the first, what, 10 days of um, October, you know? And 10 days is about... <laughs> you know, I can get it done in, in, in an hour, you know? Um, but anyway, um, when I get this done, I can seam these three together. Um, I think, I can't remember which is which. One is, um, August and one is July. I cannot remember which is which. Um, Yeah, I can't remember which one is which. But you can see, I mean, I've used up almost all of the those two colors. <laughs> and I've already run out of one color. And so I... Okay, so anyway, let me go back to where I was saying. Um, I'm almost on track with this one. And I can get this one done this evening easily but my I started thinking about um what Tony was some of the things that Tony had pointed out and I guess I had forgotten there's a lot of things I had forgotten about that one of them let me see this is, it really bothers me that I see that glare I can't see <laughs> I can't see the camera very well it's all blurry but anyway um she got me to thinking about purpose and um she she wants she challenges us the viewer subscribers to re what is the purpose of making this temperature blanket okay um first of all is it is it a blanket is it is it a, a scarf is it a amigurumi you know whatever it is okay um what is the purpose of it why are you doing it? And if you're just doing it to do it, you're very likely halfway through, you're going to be bored of it. So you have to remember why you started it to begin with. So if you're, if you're doing it like to commemorate or to give as a gift to somebody by a certain time, then that would be your purpose, obviously. Um, if, um, if you wanted to commemorate a, a certain year, um, let's say the birth of your firstborn child or the year you got married or, um, uh, 
just any anything okay the the year you were born there's so many things you could commemorate we're not going to go into that part but she said think about why think about the why why are you doing it and i need to remember that i need to remember what it is why i started it to begin with so that's going to be one of the top things that i'm going to be thinking about if i want to start a temperature blanket this year and some people are saying Petra, it's you know it's only october and you're th starting to talk about you know temperature blankets now when we're not going to be starting them until january well that's that's my kind of my point um we want to be able to um um start planning now because we'll for most of us november and december are going to be jam-packed with projects that we need to get done before christmas right so when are we going to have time to plan out a temperature blanket and be able to order the yarn make sure everything's ready by the first of january so that's why she was putting this video out now so the other thing I want to think about is my colors and my yarn. So one of the things I've noticed, obviously, that, I mean, I, I have used too much. I mean, I mean, the same colors. Look at this one. I mean, it's almost the same color all throughout. I mean, it's, it's crazy. And these are all 70s and 80s. And I, and I did not think about previous years. I should have gone back to the previous years and seen what like the average temperatures were from last year and kind of planned my gauge out this year for this year. And I didn't do that, obviously, you know, cause I thought, okay, um, you know, will be in the 90s and the hundreds you know we never were and this you can see this here this color right here is it is that the right one um or is it this one no it's this bright pink right here is 90s everything else is 70s and 80s same with this no okay i'm sorry this this purple color that this purpley pink color that's 90s everything else this dark pink and this rose pink those are all 70s and 80s so you can tell from july august and september what <laughs> what colors are like it was like in the 70s and 80s almost the whole time so i didn't plan that out very well um then i'm thinking about the colors and when i'm thinking about the colors i love the colors of fall those are my favorite colors the golds the 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 or the not bright orange you know like halloween orange but i'm talking more like a a goldy orange and the rusty oranges and uh siennas and burgundies and wines and eggplants and those colors those beautiful oh it just warms my heart just thinking about those colors um in fact, you know, just kind of looking at this, you've got some greens and some apricot colors and and um, a little bit of like a, a, a brownish color in there. They're just warm and inviting and I love them. And I was talking to Mr. Happy about that and I said, you know, the thing is, is that every every time I plan a temperature blanket, I plan it with all the colors that 
you know, I like at the moment, you know, I wanted to plan this one with lots of pinks and purples, you know, if it was cold, I was going to do dark purples. And if it was hot, I was going to do bright pinks. And so that was the range, you know, from like a violet blue all the way to a fiery pink. And, and it's not that I didn't like that idea. It's just that, um, I wanted, I want to work with something that I'm going to love all the time. Now, these, these kinds of colors that I have in my blanket work perfectly in my room here. Autumn colors, fall colors, don't match anything in my home. And, um, it would be one of those things where it would look really scrappy to anybody that would come in and it's like, I'm such, I'm so particular about stuff like there's another word for that, that I'm not going to use, but I'm so particular about, um, making everything match or coordinate. So I'm really going to have to think about colors. And then the other thing I want to think about is the yarn. Um, this is the Stylecraft DK. I have used that for my temperature blankets. And that is, I use this one because I had so much of it that I really needed to work with it to get rid of some of them. And I still have a, totally too much right now. But this blanket, I would love to make it warm and cozy and I would love to use something that is, has some superwash merino in it. So I'm going to have to do some research online to see if I can find some superwash. I love the Barocco Vintage DK. And I would love to use that. I just don't know if it would be... Um, if it would be too expensive to purchase all of those colors, I thought of using some of my colors that I have up here, but I could probably find a couple of them that are just super wash merino and fewer of that, that are the color that I would want to put into this blanket. Because most of them are greens, blues, purples, and pinks. No, I don't even have any pinks up there. <laughs> so I I don't, I, I'm going to have to really do some research and figure out which one I want to do. Now I know Stylecraft um, has um, a special Life DK that has acrylic and 25% wool. But I really want to make this special. I want to make it like really toasty. So I'm not sure if I'm going to do. Oh, oh, hold on. Mr. Happy walked in and the dog went crazy. That's the first time <laughs> that she has like barked like that. Goodness gracious. Okay. So, um, I was talking about the yarn. So I'm going to do some research and hopefully i can gather my thoughts gather my and and just i i hate that i'm not using what i have um but i and, and i thought i had some barocco vintage dk in my stash but if i do i can't find it i don't know where it is um so i'm gonna have to do something different <laughs> Um, especially like in the trying to find, um, the colors that I really like. Yeah. The colors and the fat fabric and to have the variety because, you know, when you think about, you know, Stylecraft DK, they have, I mean, so many shades of the same color. So it would be easy to find like, say you wanted to do the 70s uh, 
you know, 70 to 73, 74 to 76, 77 to, to 79, you know, you, you could find like one, sh you know, different shades of one color to fit that. Um, so I, I, I'm not sure how I want to work it yet, but I do want to start thinking about it. I've got my notebook in front of me. I want to start writing it down so that I can, I can really flesh out, you know, the things that I want to do. Um, now, one of these days, I want to go through my, uh, I, one, my goal for tonight is to finish up the square for September and start October. And then I would really like to go through my, um, whips and start really thinking about am I going to finish this or am I not um and be honest with myself I have a project down there that's been in a bag for four years now <laughs> that but it's I was holding two strands of something together and frogging something like that let me tell you that is not easy <laughs> that is not easy at all so, um, but if I'm going to frog it, I need to just do it. Um, I don't think I'm going to finish it. It was a nice thought, but I don't think I'm going to finish it. So that's all I've got for you today. I've been, like I said, I've been kind of here and there and everywhere. Um, uh, I'm still recovering a little bit from my procedure on, on Friday I'm still, at least I'm not coughing. I'm not, I am coughing, but not like I was before. And it, it hurts my chest here and in my upper back, it hurts. So I know it's just my lungs getting, you know, used to breathing, you know, and, and coming back into shape. I'm sure they did stuff when they were in there or not, whatever, irritating it. So Yep, that's all I've got to say. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your evening. Um, I hope you have a great week. And I'd love to hear, tell me in the comment section below, I would love to know, are you doing a temperature blanket this year? Um, and if so, how's it going? Are you, are you making any progress? Is it something that you've lost interest in? Um, and if you're working on something, are you wanting to do one next year? You know, are you wanting to try to try the whole thing over again? Tell me in the comments section what your thoughts are. I hope everybody has a wonderful rest of your week. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.